Hi, I'm Lynn Fisher from the Federal Housing Finance Agency. Today we released our House Price Index report and data for the second quarter of 2020. In the second quarter, house prices rose 5.4% from a year ago and 0.8% from the prior quarter. These headline numbers are based on our seasonally adjusted purchase only index. The first half of this year has been particularly challenging with COVID-19. States began issuing stay-at-home orders in late March, leading to a temporary slowdown for many economic sectors in April. Parts of the country began reopening by early May. The initial impacts of the economic slowdown show up in the monthly statistics. May prices experienced a slight downturn relative to April levels, but then more than rebounded in June. As a result, the quarterly data have a continued positive pace, and by this measure, House prices have risen for 36 consecutive quarters. Annual house price appreciation was even slightly stronger in the second quarter of 2020 compared to a year ago in the second quarter of 2019. House prices rose in every region and in all 50 states over the last four quarters. The largest top five gains were in Idaho, Arizona, Washington, Utah, and New Mexico. Not surprisingly, three of the top five MSAs were also in these states, specifically Boise City, Idaho, Tacoma, Washington, and Phoenix, Arizona. The remaining members of the top five MSA list were urban Honolulu, Hawaii, and Greensboro, North Carolina. Out of the top 100 metro areas in this country, only San Francisco showed a negative trend over the last year. Residential housing has remained a stable, although not completely unaffected, economic factor. Low interest rates and a tight housing supply have continued to keep house prices elevated. We will continue to monitor these and other market conditions. To read the second quarter report or to check out our new Metro Rankings page, please visit fhfa.gov forward slash HPI. For FHFA, I'm Lynn Fisher. Thanks for watching.